Thank you, Robbie. You sure this is going to help my golf game? <laughs> <laughs> well, what room will I put it on, sir? Oh, it's uh, 210 uh, or 201. Oh, it's under the name of Tucker. Mr. Tucker. Tucker. Conrad Tucker. Virginia? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Robbie. Excuse me, can I just... Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Hi. I don't believe that. I don't believe this. <laughs> wow. Oh. What are you doing here? Um, I was invited. <laughs> well, that was so... Let's sit down. I'd love to. Where have you been all this time? Oh, my God. What has it been, 12 years? Wow. You look wonderful. Oh, thank you. Uh, God, I remember that summer so clearly. Oh, the sailing trips, the riding. Tequila oh. sunrises at sunset. <laughs> I think I did this a lot, too. <laughs> oh, midnight barbecues on the beach. Oh. Dancing, wild dancing in the terrace. Oh, yeah, that was another person, huh? Hmm? Uh, Can I get you a drink? Yeah. Robbie? Yes, sir? Gin and tonic. Gin and tonic. Gin and tonic. Yes. So what on earth are you doing in Scotland? Oh, well, I met this girl, Katie Staten, in London, and she uh, heard that I knew someone up here, so she said, and I can't do her accent, but she said, you know, come to my birthday party, everyone will be there, so... <laughs> You're the I sad am. American. You're the sad American. Excuse me? Oh, I I'm sorry, it's just that Isabel didn't know anything about you, except that your wife had died. I I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. Can I ask about it? Of course. Her name was Elizabeth. She had leukemia. Anyway, what about you? <sighs> Do you have a husband? Yeah. He's in New York. I have a son as well. How old is he? Eight. His name's Henry. This very day, I have thrown him into a snake pit of a boarding school. Oh, boy. This is probably the most awful day of my life. You know, that summer, when I went back to the Cape, your father told me you'd gone to England. I couldn't believe it. I never intended to stay. Then, across a crowded room, uh, I saw Edmund. Huh. And just like the song, that was... That was... Oh. <laughs> this is just a bad day. Stay here tonight. No, I'm not. I, get, I have to take care of my dogs. <sighs> I'll go back. <sighs> okay. I guess Isabel wouldn't mind having you a day early. There's a pub in the village? Ought to be shut by now. Oh. Yeah. You have to stay the night at Valnade. Won't that be a problem? No, no problem at all. The guest room beds are already made up. No problem. <laughs> hello, hello. You can see why I had to come home. Great dogs, a matching set. <laughs> Mm -hmm. To the 
good old days. Cheers. Oh, it's stuffy in here. You'll have to take my word for it, but the view is great. Mm hmm. Should I close it? No, no. Leave it. Leave it. It's too good to waste. So there's all the hot water you need. Um, I'm sorry there's no shower. Scott's like to take long baths. Um, these are your reading lights, obviously. <laughs> uh, the main line is by the door, and... Will you be okay? Listen, I want you to know... I want to thank you, how... because I needed a friend tonight, and you were there. Virginia, I... You know, it's really funny, because I've been dreaming about home. You know, the breeze over the Atlantic, those barbecues. <laughs> that summer, did you know I was in love with you? I'm a different person. Not to me. God, it's like a time warp. I want to make love to you. into Conrad yesterday evening. How do you do? Pleasure. Yeah. Such a coincidence. We're old friends. We knew each other in the States. So we spent the night at Belnade. Oh, that's a sensible idea. Hmm. Would you like some coffee? Um, I've got to take some flower pots up to Verena. I'll just uh, get my golf clubs. Right. Was he okay? Henry? Not really. I have to go, Archie. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow night. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let me have that. Uh, uh, come on now. You're a golfer. 